n squared needs to be divisible by 96. So I want to say n squared equals 96, which 96 breaks down to 2 to the 5th times 3, which primes, okay? I want to say you know, when, it, when it says a variable is divisible by a number in a divisibility problem, you always want to set it equal. Now, when I try to set it equal, though, what's wrong with this picture? Can an integer squared equal 2 to the 5th, 3 to the 1? Well, no, because it's got a, if, it's a, if it's a perfect square, the exponent on each prime must be even. It must be divisible by 2, because when you take the square root, raised to the 1 half, okay? Now, this is not like those other problems where they have y right here, and they're asking what y is. y completes the square, completes the cube. We just have n. So here's what I have to do, is I have to fix this one on my own. n squared can't be 2 to the 5th, 3 to the 1. It's got to be 2 to the 6th, 3 squared. Essentially, you just slide the exponent up to the next value that works. We're still divisible by 96, because if you just add more primes to what you already have, then you're still divisible by that original number. But now we're actually a perfect square. What, they, what they've done is they've given us an incomplete picture of, of what n squared is. It can't be 2 to the 5th, 3. It's not a perfect square. It's 2 to the 6th, 3 squared. That's the next possible value of n. So I just said this has to just be on your checklist of things to do you know, with divisibility problems involving powers. Your squares have to be perfect squares. Your cubes have to be perfect cubes. Whether that's completing it with another variable, whether that's doing it on your own, you just make sure the exponent is correct. So now that's n squared. I take the square root because I want to get n. That's 2 to the 3rd, 3, which is 24.